Assalamualaikum and hi, my name is Ali Farhana binti Mama Azmi. Today, I would like to present my final year project thesis which is FSC of Kokopi Mark Treated with Wood Vinegar on Control Woody Boroya, Hedutus Perticillata at the Vegetative Stage. Firstly, let's begin with the introduction. In Malaysia, the National Agro-Food Policy has brought focus on improving the farmer income through implementation of precision weed control method to reduce uncertainties that related to managing variabilities in farm. Recently, mulching and herbicide application is a promising approach to reduce weed infestation. However, there is a limited literature on combined effect of mulching with natural plant products. Therefore, a study was carried out to determine the effect of different application rate of cocopic mulch treated with wood vinegar on the emergence and growth performance of woody boroya wheat at the vegetative stage. This research is to study the release of the neutral compound from organic mulch that are gradually and required time as it slowly decomposes plus the particle size of the plant residue affect its decomposition. Besides that, by using the mulching technique is capable to control and eliminating the weed but requires a long time to be finished. The application of wood vinegar with mulching tends to accelerate and improve the inhibitory effect of the mulching on the weed as the wood vinegar also has a herbicidal properties. Thus, the efficacy of mulching with wood vinegar will be tested on woody boroya as a bio as a species since this wheat species is one of the problematic wheat in orchard and plantation in Malaysia. For the null hypothesis, there was no significant inhibition on the emergence and growth of woody boroya, while for the alternate hypothesis, there was a significant on the emergence and growth of woody boroya. The objective of this study is to determine the effect of different application rate of cocopy much treated with wood vinegar on the emergence and growth performance of woody boroya wheat. For the experiment, I focus on the efficacy of cocopic mulch that treated with wood vinegar. The parameter I use are the emergent rate, root length and shoot fresh weight of woody boroya at the vegetative stage. And lastly, I tested with different rate of cocopic mulch and wood vinegar. For the significance of study, it is to increase weed management new strategy toward achieving sustainable best agriculture practice. All this research are through integration of mulching and wood vinegar application. It also can reduce the dependence of the chemical herbicide. Next, the literature review. The scientific name of Woody Boroya is Heliotis verticillata and this wheat was discovered spreading in palm oil region in Malaysia. Mulching is a substance that can able to preserve soil moisture, improve fertility and minimize wheat growth. By putting the mulching on the plant can able to suppress the wheat due to the action of phytotoxic compound in the mulch. Wood vinegar is a byproduct resulting from the endless burning of wood to produce charcoal and contain a lot of components like acetic acid and phenol which is capable of benefiting the cropping and the addition to its affordable price. And now, the material and method. For the seedling growth test, this experiment was run in nursery of University of Malaysia Kelantan Jelly Campus. The humidity rate are 78 to 80% and the temperature are 28 to 33 degrees Celsius. Then, the seed of H. verticillata are sacrificed with sandpaper to break the outer coat. 20 H. verticillata seed was sold for each pepper cup. After one day sowing, the cocopic much treated with wood vinegar are applied onto the soil with different application rate. This research are divided into 9 treatments and 1 control. One of these treatments use varying rate of cocoa peat mulch and concentration of wood vinegar and each of these treatments have 3 replications. Firstly, for the preparation of planting media, 20 seeds of woody boroya was sowed in pepper cup. Next, the treatment preparation. After one day the seeds sowed in polybag, the treatment will be applied. I use 9 different treatment with one control with varying rate of cocoa peat mulch and concentration of wood vinegar. All the data was collected after 14 day treatment application. The number of emerged wheat, the shoot fresh weight and the root length are measured. And lastly, analysis data. The data were using one way ANOVA and the turkey test HST. For the next slide, I will show the process how the treatment are experiment was using completely randomized design CRD. I also using one-way ANOVA analysis and the turkey test HST. Next, we move to result and discussion. This is the overview for this topic. 
This graph diagram shows the effect of these two treatments on wheat emergence. The result of this study showed that T6 8 ton per hectare cocopit plus 30% wood vinegar was completely inhibited 100%. Even though the application rate of cocopit much 4 ton to 12 ton and wood vinegar 10% to 30% starting from T1 to T9 show no significant difference with T6. This treatment application still exhibits strong inhibition on the wheat emergence with the inhibition value ranging from 76 to 93%. This can be proven based on previous study, Dilip Kumar demonstrated that the application of all palm front leaflet and ratchets at the lower application rate of 1.4 to 1.8 treated with 12 gram of imazid pierce gave significant inhibition on the emergence of goose grass by 90 to 100% inhibition under glass house condition. This previous result suggests that different thickness of mulching will provide different level of weed control and when herbicide were combined with mulching, they provide excellent weed control even at a lower thickness. Next, this diagram shows the effect of these two treatments on shoot fresh wake. It was found that there was a significant reduction in the shoot fresh wake of H. lata starting from 4 ton to 12 ton of cocoa peat mulch with the wood vinegar concentration ranging from 10% to 30%, T3, T4, T6, T7, T8 and T9. At this application rate, the shoot fresh wake of the bio species was strongly inhibited by 82 to 100%. Similar to the wheat emergence, T6 show a strong reduction in shoot fresh wake where it reduced by 100%. This can be evidenced by an early study from DER. The excellent control on which shoot fresh wake 50% inhibition was observed in the treatment with a combination of pine nugget in a single layer plus oxyfluorophens and pendimethylene at 2.0 gram and 1.5 kg per hectare respect respectively. Similar to this current study, the reduction of H. pertisolata fresh weight by the cocopy mulch is rate dependent, suggesting that the reduction is more likely due to physical barrier and allopathic effect of the residual mulch just triggered by different concentration of food vinegar to provide an unbearable condition for the weak crude. This physical barrier help in reducing light penetration and decrease soil temperature, soil temperature fluctuation, thereby resulting in inhibiting of weak germination and growth. And finally, the effect of the treatment on root length. Similar to the wheat emergence and shoot fresh wheat, the root length was significantly reduced at T6, 8 ton, cocoa peat mulch plus 30% wood vinegar by 100% as compared to the control. Even though no significant difference was detected at the lower application of cocoa peat mulch at 4 ton per hectare, T1, T2 and T3 as compared to the control, this application rate shows strong root reduction with a value ranging from 62 to 92% inhibition. This finding was in line with the study conducted by Nusha Mimi, where the application of cocoa peat mulch at 8 ton together 40% curry leaf extract significantly, significantly reduced the root length of H. pertisolata by 90%. This result implied that the combination of cocoa peat mulch at 8 ton treated with 30% wood vinegar or 40% aquas curry leaf extract possibly contain a high level of alleochemicals or natural compounds that lead to a strong reduction in root length. Different in total growth at root length might be due to the root of bio species could have escaped the application of the wood vinegar where cocoa peat particle can be wood vinegar and result in a lower efficacy. So this threat is important to determine with control efficacy by determining of optimum combination of cocoa peat much wood vinegar doses in order to reduce the application cost. Lastly, conclusion and recommendation. In a conclusion, T6 8 ton cocoa peat mulch plus 30% wood vinegar was the efficient rate to control H. pertisolata by completely inhibit 100%. Possibility reason of this inhibitory reason of this weed might be due to the presence of strong active compound in wood vinegar. Also, the thickness of mulching that provide excellent weed control. This result implies that both wood vinegar and the cocoa peat mulch are strong weed inhibitor. The recommendation is the application of food vinegar and the cocoa peat mulch as a soil cover is effective in reduced H. particulata under nursery condition. Further research needed on the application of food vinegar and mulches in field condition. In order to elucidate the absorption desorption mechanism between wood vinegar and mulch in relation to soil physiochemical properties. And this is my references. That's all from me. Thank you.